good morning good afternoon good night to everyone who's watching and welcome back to another video so today uh, as you saw the intro we are going to take a look at my new camera the gopro hero 8 along with all this accessories apparently it requires a lot of accessories if you want this camera to be the only camera that you're carrying around i did try carrying around my dslr and trust me it is not for me i have used action cameras before i was using sj i've used sj 4000 then i moved on to sj 6 legend and now i felt it is time to move on to gopro itself so here uh, there are all i i was waiting for a lot of accessories uh, so this came first it came about two weeks back now so it has been with me for a long time now but i was waiting for all the accessories to arrive so that i can make this video now if you want to see an unboxing of the gopro hero 8 you can go ahead and check it in mahan putra i'll leave a link here you can go ahead and check it he did the unboxing you all the accessories here basically help me to convert the GoPro into a vlogging setup. It it helps me convert the GoPro into a motor vlogging setup. And if I want a waterproof setup, that is also covered here. As I'm pretty sure most of you know, GoPro Hero 8 has three major issues. So this is the camera itself. The first major issue is this lens. Now this lens is not removable like how it was in GoPro Hero 7. So this goes, the camera is gone. You will have to get a new camera. And then this is this stupid little mounting place, which is, as you see, not stable enough and feels a little flimsy. I don't think I will allow a camera this expensive just be mounted like this on my helmet. The third issue is this window here. Now this window has the place where you put the uh, battery itself and it has this mic port which is also covered and you need this mic port. First issue that I had to negotiate was for my motor vlogging for my helmet how do i do this you need a casing uh, because when you're riding a bike anything can hit your lens so you need to protect that so this is the first one so this is basically a housing and let me open both so this comes with uh, these mounts and about 12 different uh, uh, humidity something something rather so you can put that in and it won't fog up inside the casing itself so that's the first one and this is the second one now why did i buy two of these things i will tell you why i bought this so i'll leave a link down for all of this from where i got i got i tried to get the cheapest possible ones so this is the casing itself for hero 8 now as you see it is completely sealed now if you put this on your bike when you're riding on your bike with the helmet how do you put the mic in it so this is permanently going to be a waterproof case now i bought another case the same case and exactly what i did on my sj cam case i bought an extra case so that i can put the mount i bought this and i made a hole here to make sure I can put the mic on this. So this is for my riding setup. This is for in case I'm going on a waterproof or on a diving or somewhere I'm swimming with the camera itself. So this is there. Now how do you s go around this thing? There is no opening here. And if I'm gonna put that there, the battery might slide off any time. So to tackle that issue, as you know this, can be removed this comes into picture so this is an Ulanzo uh, so and so the battery plastic lid now I get this so this cap helps me with that particular solution so I can put this in and I get the option to put the mic inside so one problem solved so i can put the mic inside when i'm riding my bike so now this accessory comes into picture the mic adapter itself 
now it took me some time to get this uh, i got it for a good price actually so this is the mic adapter itself so it has two ports a type c port and a 3.5 mm jack so that's something that is very very necessary if you want audio and especially if you are someone who is motor vlogging and if your camera is in a waterproof case like that you need a mic to go through now for the helmet setup i will show it some other time and specifically then for the mic for your helmet so this is the mic you need a trs pin mic for the gopro so what's a trs thing let me open this so most of the mics have three rings if you can see this has two rings one and two there are three rings so for your gopro to work it needs only two rings so that's a trs mic and this took me some time to find because most of the mics that are affordable you have tr trrs port on it and not the trs so if you if you're going to buy a trs one all you have to do is buy a road tr s to trrs converter that is again a thousand rupees expenditure this is just this mic costed me 300 rupees and i wanted a trs mic itself because i did not want an other adopter after this so i had to find this adopter and this is only for my helmet so this is going to stay permanently in my helmet so this is an extra battery you need an extra battery now just having an extra battery is not enough you need a charger too so the gopro charger itself is very expensive there is a simple solution there is a cheaper option so this is the cheaper alternative so, so this is the cheaper alternative you can charge two batteries here and gopro it's perfect and it's cheaper it was i think almost eight times cheaper than the actual gopro one so this we are covered extra battery and the charger part of it is covered now this is something just a scratch card so i have one scratch card put here in the front and the other one is put for the rear screen you also get another scratch card for the lens uh, if you put a scratch card on this your picture quality might get affected so i have not put that so that's already done now coming to the vlogging setup itself so this is uh, Ulanzo GoPro Hero 8 vlog case. It's a cage basically. There are two versions of this. This is a plastic one. There is another aluminium one, which is quite expensive. So I thought this is good enough for me. So this is the case itself, which comes in the packaging. So this is made of very good plastic. And as you see, there's a huge 52 mm ring here. Now this can protect your lens. So what you the solution is go to Amazon. There are many rings available. The 55 mm uh, filters. There are many filters. This is a 55 mm uh, UV filter. This is from Amazon Basic. So as you see, I can show that Amazon Basic. So all this does is it goes and just. So it just mounts here. If this breaks, just go out and buy another one because it's not that expensive. Now to put the GoPro itself inside. First we need to remove this battery part. We don't need that. All you need to do is slide this off. Then open this part off. So as you see, it has already given the camera battery mount here so it has the battery uh, it presses the battery and keeps it so that should be fine take your camera just slide that in slide that in completely once that's in just lock your this one up slide this into so the cage is sealed now now there's something else that i actually liked uh, gopro mic adapter housing here so you don't have to allow, you don't have to keep it dangling around okay just put that in tighten it there and 
okay so there the mic adapter and the gopro is inside now all you need to do is just take a adapter here put that on to any of the sticks and just slide it in and you have the handlebar now the second part is you need a mic a directional mic that will help you uh, that will pick up your your sound and not everyone else's sound so this cage with this particular mic the boya bymm1 so many people have used this so let me just open this and so you get all this in the camera in the mic itself so the mic itself with the dead cat on it then you have this adapter cold shoe adapter to tighten it and then you get two wires so this is a trs like you see and there is a trrs adapter too so you see there are three rings and this has two rings so that's the difference you need to use the trr trs mic on this so let's just put this on put that there set on your gopro so if you want change the direction as you wish just tighten it and the mic itself connects here and there so there is your entire vlogging setup that you need to talk when you're outside so if you want to see how i mount the camera on my uh, helmet if you're interested to see it just let me know in the comment i will try and make another video of that so this was just to show that you can have one camera for everything so this is a video for that and gopro is good enough for all of your needs you don't need another camera you just need to have one gopro and it should cover you yeah you need to get more accessories but again it's a simple and a cheaper alternative than buying a nice phone or buying a big dslr or the most important for me carrying around a big camera is something that is negated by this particular camera i leave the link in the description for all of these things you can go ahead buy it if you want if you have a gopro hero 8 so that's all i have for this video guys hope you like the video and i promise you there are many more vlogs and riding videos coming soon so have a great day ahead bye